Hey chat, welcome back to yet another episode on the channel. We are continuing on with the FM23 heart save here on the channel. And straight from the last episode, which I've finished recording no more than 30 seconds ago, uh, we're on to the game against Rangers in this one. Uh, as you can see for the visit of Rangers, the board are expecting a win. The supporters also expecting a win. Do they realise we are missing three of our best players through injury? I don't think they've taken that into account. Uh, they should have because it's going to be a very, very tough game considering Rangers have been very competitive so far this season. So for the visit of Rangers, then we have had to make a couple of tactical tweaks in regards to the formation. Uh, so jumping basically back over to our 4-3-1-2 formation, uh, we have decided to put Rizzo in goal, Ramsey at right back, Magala and Borset this time at centre back with Doi at left back instead of Luke Shaw. Um, we've got Pozzo is as the Mazala, Jao Gomez as the ball in the midfield role, and then Mansbeck in the box to box. We've got Marshall Colbert playing in the cam. We are going to rest Mikel Pedersen. Uh, he's going to come off maybe uh, or come on off the bench a little bit into the game. Lorenzo Luca will be the target forward with uh, Bardri with playing up front for the first time playing up front. Um, we could have definitely played Jao Resende, uh, but I feel like giving the youngster a go. Um, is worth it. I mean, it's a big game. Let's hope that he can perform. Let's get straight into it. There's no messing around. We want to get on with it, and hopefully, we'll be finding ourselves three points better off. I mean, to be fair, they're above us at the moment. Uh, so this is a game that we do need to win, and it'll be huge in terms of that. At, at the state title race, we know we're going to be in a title race, but right now, this early in the season, um, it's just about showing dominance and letting us be top. Uh, they've actually lost their last three games. Rangers are actually on some real good form until then. So we might actually have gone above them. Okay, we're level on points. We are above them on goal difference. We're level on points. Uh, I missed that. We missed that. Wow. I guess as Europe started to kick in for them, they've started to struggle um, with the lack of depth in their squad potentially. Uh, Celtic are definitely struggling with that so far this season as well. Uh, but into the game then. I mean, they don't look overly tired. Definitely more worn than our players, but we have had, we have had, <laughs> we have been able to rest a few players here and there. I should probably edit that out. I probably won't. I mean, our editing is very raw. We like to leave all the sort of little mistakes in. You've got to remember, we were a live streamer for ages, so stumbling is something that we just we come to, we come to grips with. We don't mind it. What I do mind is half hour in, and we still ain't seen a single bloody highlight. What is going on? I mean, we're dominating the game. 71% of the ball. Ramsey with a corner, swings it in. Headed away by Vidma. Back to Mansbeck. Ramsey again. Can he put the ball in? Mansbeck might. Instead, he gives it to Ramsey. No one wants to take the responsibility of putting the cross in. Ramsey eventually does Lorenzo Luca over the bar. The giant that he is. Unfortunately, unable to convert on this occasion. Put a decent ball into the box, nonetheless. Vidma now then. Fashion Sakala. Mansbeck's gone diving in. That's going to be a red card. Down to 10 men after 39 minutes. We were absolutely boss in possession. Now we have a little bit of a problem. I doubt we're going to have 71% of the ball moving forward. Um, we're not a goal up, so we don't have that cushion. Although, I still think there's... Potential, right? We're still working the ball into the box. We move forward as a, as a team. I still think there's potential for us to win this game. Um, just that is how good our team is compared to the rest of the division. As Pozzo is in, he's gone for goal and he scores. Doesn't matter if we have 10 men because we've got Pozzo. What a finish as well from the youngster. Let's go. Let's put Pozzo up front. We don't need a striker. Let's just put Pozzo up front. All right, one nil hearts. Just before half time, just after the red card, and well, I don't think quite expect to be a goal up three minutes after going down to ten men. But a great time to score just before half time, just after the red card. The Rangers might have thought, right, this is our time. Not today, boys. Not today. And we still had 71, 70 percent of the ball, so we're still dominating the ball. Uh, Rangers just look very, very tired, lethargic. A lot of their players are playing pretty poor. 
Um, okay, let's make a sub. Pozzo's having a great game. So is Jao Gomez, but we can take Gomez out. We can bring in... We can bring in Court Maz. That's fine. Uh, the Mazzara of Marshall Colbert, he comes out. We bring in Mikel Pedersen. I feel like Pozzo could come off as well. He's just tired. Let's just keep fresh legs out there. Tommy Doyle comes on. Calvin Ramsey, pretty tired. Lewis Nielsen comes on. Magal is on a yellow. Don't have another. Oh, I do have another centre back in Alvaro Cortez. Mm, okay, maybe just bring on Luke Shaw for Josh Doyle. Josh Doyle's having a good game, but. Or do we take one of our strikers off and. I don't know. Maybe we take off Lorenzo Luca for Milosevic, actually. Milosevic has been playing well when he's played, but he just hasn't had too much game time. We do need to give him some more game time. I sort of wish I loaned him out, uh, but he was key to the Champions League squad and the registration rules, etc., because he is now homegrown. Um, he was pretty key for that. But I feel like just bringing on fresh legs here is going to help us get through this. Uh, we can drop onto balance going into the last couple of minutes. We can go for a nice focus shout. Uh, instructions, we can waste time. Let's go stand let's keep it short actually let's go waste time be more disciplined um and then we should be fine from there to be honest they're still very very defensive aren't they uh, maybe trying to hit us on the counter attack potentially it looks like they've just gone down to 10 men as well probably via an injury uh, so that should help us in these last couple of minutes of added time as court maz who's given the ball away a few times in the, the games well the games that i've played today it was mainly the last episode as ronnie is in He's in behind. He should just hold the ball up. He tried to play it in towards Pedersen. And now there's a chance here for Dwight McNeil on the counter-attack. We've got men flooding back. McNeil, do not foul him. Ball into a Kent. Not cleared. Still not cleared. And finally, we get the ball away. Wow. There we go, chap. A big one McNeil win over Rangers. Considering we went down to 10 men on the 40th minute. Um, I think that's a great result to somehow come out with three points there really really happy with that um i mean yeah i still don't understand where our expansion was who knows maybe it was in the one stand we couldn't see uh so yeah big big three points in the league and more injuries to deal with not good more injuries six unbeaten now uh, there is still talks of the club actually uh being taken over which is a little bit concerning in my opinion because we don't know if the person that's coming in is going to have money um, or whether they're going to be a Scrooge, etc. Um, I think it was just more of like a chairman's looking to step aside um, more than anything else. But I mean, in terms of if we go to the board, yeah, I think it's just this Ann Budge is looking to step aside. I don't think that's going to make much difference in terms of the money. You can see here, they expanded our stadium, added 5,148 seats. That's all completed now. Um, so, yeah, fe feeling good, chat. Let's go on to the next game. Uh, looking at our schedule, like I said, next game is going to be against Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League. Another big, big game. Don't forget, guys, if you are enjoying the, the series, make sure you are dropping a thumbs up on the video because it really does help it out pushes the video out to more people, a much wider audience, and helps me as well. Uh, so yeah, big, big shout out to everyone who's watching so far. Hopefully, we can go and get a big win against Shakhtar. Okay, so just a quick one that whilst we've been simming through on our way to our next match, the club has completed a takeover. Now, they want to thank us for obviously the undoubtedly stressful time. Uh, hasn't really been too stressful in winning games. Uh, but unfortunately, there are no plans for the club to invest at this stage. So um would have been nice to get a little bit of investment uh, just in January to really so we can just kick on and really try and provide the club with some decent young players. Uh, but they're not looking to invest at this time, which is fine. The club is in a good position. Makes me want to stay. It makes me want to do another season after this one, because imagine they say, oh, here's 100 million. They, they, they wouldn't, this is playing in Scotland, remember, but imagine they did. We could really, really um, go at the Champions League, although I still think we'll have a chance this year, maybe outside, but 700 to 1, by the way, pre-season on the Champions League win. Um, but yeah, so the board of directors has been replaced as well. Um, they have obviously come in and spoke about the club vision ex and the expectations, etc. Um, not much has really changed in regards to it. 
um, be competitive in the Champions League. I think that was still a standard. Basically, you just got to qualify for the knockout rounds. Um, you complete that. Obviously, still winning the all the cups and the league again. To be expected. Um, our contract is due to run out at the end of the twenty nine thirty season, but. Like I say, I, I think we'll be leaving at the end of this one. Would have been nice if they did give us a little bit of investment, though, just so we could go and uh, buy some a load of young players. But what we're going to do is we're going to continue to move forward and we'll come back for the game against Shakhtar. So, chat, we are ready now to play our final game of the episode against Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League league phase. Again, it's another big win needed here. Um, this will take us up to six points after three games if we can find the win. Side note, we have managed to beat uh, Kilmarnock in a 4-0 win in the league, uh, giving us a three-point lead at the top of the table. Uh, but like I say, into the Champions League game. Some other big games going on around as well. Roma playing against Barcelona. Celtic are taking on Marseille. Uh, United are now going to be playing against Ferenc Ferenc Brab Ferenc Varos even. Again, every time I say it, I say it incorrectly. Nothing can be done. We cannot change it. I will always say it incorrectly. Uh, Real Madrid looking for their first win of their Champions League campaign. They're playing against standard Liège, so you'd expect them to get that win. But like I say, let's focus on ourselves. Let's focus on getting the three points. A couple of players back from injury. Most importantly, Endrick is back. As you can see, he's going to be playing up top. Uh, unfortunately, Borset is injured, so he'll be missing the game. Mansbeck is back from suspension. Lewis Nielsen can come onto the bench along with Jao Resende as well. Skeldrup maybe not fit enough to make the bench at this point. Although, he can play up to 75 minutes. Let's get him on the bench. Okay, so let's get into the game then. Looking for three points at, I was about to say at home, but we are actually away from home. This would be big. This would be big. Pick up from where we left off last. Of the Champions League theme tune, let's let that play out. We have been warned about Pedrino, now we need to keep him quiet. Noni on the right, Pedersen on the left, due to Skeldrick being out injured. Other than that, it's a pretty much standard team from us. A sea of orange around the ground. Right, come on. We've got this. Really massive. Keeping an eye on the other results as well, of course. Hopefully, we'll see a few more highlights in this one. Is that Fred, as in former Manchester United player Fred? It is indeed. Currently playing at Shakhtar the Nets. Got a corner. Calvin Ramsey to take it. Swings it in towards the front post. It's gone all the way through, and Endrick is there to tap home, but a foul in the build-up, I think. And this goal might well be ruled out. It's definitely not offside. It must have been a foul. It is indeed a free kick is awarded. The goal will not stand. Unfortunately, Endrick does not have his first Champions League goal of the campaign. Uh, Barcelona are beating Roma by a goal to nil. Liverpool beating Olympiacos by a goal to nil. Mainz are beating Ajax. United have also gone a goal up as well. We should also be a goal up. Colbert turns, looking wide for Noni. Finds Noni. And he takes his man on and puts the ball in towards Pozzo. Can't win it. And now the counter-attack for Shakhtar in the net is looking dangerous here as Pedrino has space. Gives it back in, there's a chance, and it's in. And Shakhtar the net's lead. And that is not how we see this game going. We were warned about Pedrino. He was given the ball in space. He slips it into his teammate. We're a goal down. And that is far from ideal. Celtic have actually just taken the lead against Marseille. Fair play to Celtic. Uh, Noni balled into the box. It's Pedersen. It's 1-1. And it's... Potentially going to be ruled out again. Surely not. This one looks well on side. I'm sure you're not going to give a foul again, are you? Nope. The goal stands. He is on side. There we go. Nonny's ball into the box. Pedersen with a header. We'll take it. It's 1 1. Level terms straight away. And a highlight straight from kickoff. Normally means a goal. Especially when you're playing on key highlights. Hopefully we can win the ball back. Otherwise, it could be 2 1. Shakhtar and they're in again and it... Oh, it's so, so close. Okay, chat, so the boiler man's just been to serve this boiler. Um, my bum hurts a bit, but... <laughs> uh, there's going to be a huge cut and edit in the middle of a highlight. We were not doing anything anything suspicious, I promise you. Um, Shakhtar in the next 1-1 against Hearts. 
Uh, I've totally forgot what was even happening in, in this game. Been totally thrown off. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens throughout the rest of it. We have been a better team, which is nice. 56% of the ball so far. Having a lot more shots. We are the away team, so we do expect Shakhtar to have a couple of a couple of moments throughout the game. Colbert plays into Pozzo. He looks forward towards Endrick. Endrick going to need some support. Gets it from Pettersson. It's two and the... VAR came up as the ball was hitting the back of the net. I don't know why it's going to VAR. Maybe Endrick was offside. In my opinion, he definitely wasn't. It's 2-1 hearts. We take the lead. And a couple of scores around the grounds as well. Ferenc Varos. Oh, I was just about to say they've gone 1-1 against United. United have just gone 2-1 up. Uh, Barcelona leading Roma, as we know. Atletico Madrid are losing, so they're going to be heading out of the competition. That's going to be three straight defeats for them. Uh, Mainz still beating Ajax. Uh, PSG Milan still nil nil. We didn't see the Real Madrid score in there, but we are two and up at half time. We'd love to see it. So we're gonna go for controlling possession, which is nice. And uh, three one United now as well. I still don't see the Real Madrid score anywhere. So maybe they're playing at a later time. I don't know. Ramsey with the corner swings it in towards the front post. It. Gormaz with his second goal of the season, his first goal in the Champions League. But hearts, and to be fair, he he is a little bit mistake prone. He does make a few mistakes. He has cost us a few goals this season. He is only eighteen. It's sort of to be expected. So so glad he has got on the score sheet. That's going to do him a world of confidence. Confidence. Look at the size of him as well for just eighteen. And Hendricks in chance for four. It is four. Running away with it now. See you later. Hearts lead by four goals to one. And that should be another three points in the bag in the Champions League. Big, big goal as well. Because it gives us just that little bit more breathing room. At 3-1, if Shakhtar go and get another one, make it 3-2, our R starts twitching a little bit. Uh, but now I feel like we're good. And we should be able to see this one out. Or we could even go on and score a couple more goals as we still have half hour to play. Uh, we could look at making a couple of changes as well. Uh, Colbert and Nonny both looking a bit tired as Colbert's just gone through on goal. Uh, probably should have scored. I'm going to take Marshall Colbert off. We're going to bring on... Let's bring on Skeldrup, actually. Uh, he can come on in the middle. Uh, Nonny can come off as well because why not? Let's just give him a little bit of a rest. Uh, Mohamed Kamara can also come on now for Jao Gomez. Uh, who else could we bring on? We could also take off Pozzo uh, for Mansvek. And then the last sub, I feel like we should maybe just take off Calvin Ramsey. Having a really good game, but why not get Lewis Nielsen on? He does need some game time, and it also rests Calvin Ramsey as well. Still looking to go and get a couple more goals. As Pedersen looking for his second, it's off the post and cleared away. Hearts knocking on the door, looking for a fifth. This would be huge for goal difference as well. A Skeldra, Endrick, it's five. Five, I was about to say four. <laughs> the 5 1 Skeldrup being really, really unselfish. Just come back from injury, gets it in behind, brings it down, knocks it across to Endrick, who gets the tap in. Two goals for Pedersen, two goals for Endrick. Who's going to be the first to get the hat trick? Who's going to take home the match ball, if any of them? Uh, Barcelona still leading Roma by a goal to nil. Roma now down to 10 men as well. Um, Dynamo and Porto still 0 nil, nil. Chelsea are leading by a goal to nil over Nice. Young boys are drawing 1 1. Wow, this this is really, really open. Because some of the smaller teams have actually managed to get results. I.e. that team that young boys are playing managed to beat Selvig. And if they get a draw here, that's four points. You probably only need nine to qualify. And Ronnie's in. Six. Six of the best for hearts. The substitute is on. And the substitutes we have made, one of them's got an assist. One of them's got a goal. And it might not be done. We might still have more in us. We might still have more in us. A highlight straight from kickoff. Hopefully it's not a goal we concede. Doig, nice. Skeldrup, off he goes. Got Endrick ahead of him. Plays it into Endrick, but unfortunately the touch was a little bit heavy this time. Mansbeck, Kamara, plays it forward. Ronnie on the right-hand side. Swings it in. Endrick! It's too easy. It's too easy. It's going to go to VAR, though. We don't know whether it's going to stand. Checking the goal. It's awarded. There we go. 7-1. Ronnie. I mean, yeah, yeah, he's onside. I mean, number 22 is playing him on. Nice finish by Endrick. That's his hat-trick. That's how important Endrick is to this team. 
it's so sad that he will be leaving us at the end of the season. But we had to take the money. The fact that we got a loan back was great and allowed him to be here for another season. But just look at that. Oh, don't you love to see it, chat? Don't you love to see it? 7-1 away to Shakhtar Donetsk. We are absolutely cruising. Here's Skeldrum now playing over top. Endrick's looking for a fourth. And to be fair, that is probably the easiest opportunity he's had all game. And he's missed it. Uh, Borussia Dortmund are beating PSV by two goals to nil. Two late goals for Borussia Dortmund by the looks of it. Big winners. Love that from Magala. Skeldrup finds Ronnie looking in for Endrick again. He's going to get there. And again, another one that he probably should be scoring. Don't see any too many shocks around the ground. Bayern are now 2 0 up. We'll go and have a look at all the scores after this game. So don't feel like that's showing all of them. Here's Mansbeck, Magala, Inza, Mete, Korkmaz. This might just be the last highlight of the game as Ronnie's in. Round the keeper scores. And that's two for Ronnie. 8 1. 8 1, chat. Woo! That, that makes you feel good, chat. That makes you feel real, real good. Eight goals scored in one game. Everyone played absolutely fantastic. I mean, what do you even say? Don't get complacent now after that. That's probably right, because after winning by eight goals to one, your team might start feeling like they've got an edge over everyone, but we need to be on it uh, going forward. What a huge scoreline. That might even be a record in the Champions League. Uh, I wanted to have a look at the latest scores. So Leipzig beat Atletico 3-0. Barcelona 2-0 over Roma. Is there any shock? Celtic did win, so that's good for us um, in terms of just Scotland in general. PSG beat Milan by a goal to nil. Liverpool won by four goals to nil. Real Madrid did get their first win of the campaign. Um, they won 4-0. Villarreal, Monaco drawing 0-0. So Barcelona and Real Madrid now moving up the table up onto the five points. Uh, we are still above both of them uh, here in eight on six points. Uh, feeling feeling really, really confident. I mean, who who else do we play? I think we've got to play a couple of tougher games. Let's just have a look at it. So we've got to play Porto, which will be a little bit harder. Uh, Villarreal. I mean, even if we get a draw, a draw, that will take us to eight points. We beat Dynamo. That's 11 points. A draw against Roma. That's 12 points. And say we lose to United. So 12 points. I still feel like we can actually get more than the 12. Um, I generally believe there is a chance that we can finish on 15, 16 points. Which will give us the potential to qualify inside the top 8. And move straight into the round of 16. But yeah, what a huge episode. What a way to end the episode as well. Guys, if you have enjoyed this one, be sure to smash a thumbs up on the video get in the comments let me know what you think of that 8-1 win Ooh, it feels good it feels good to be hearts manager at this point in time guys we'll catch you on the next one peace out love